viewers welcome to my channel pharmacypedia the topic of today's discussion is another controversial ingredient formaldehyde liberators in my previous video i have discussed about parabens and dioxin this is the third formaldehyde liberators which we are going to discuss in this video formaldehyde liberators are also known by the name formalin formic aldehyde methyn diol methanol methyl aldehyde methylene glycol methylene oxide are vastly found in various cosmetic preparations like shampoos conditioners moisturizers cleansers creams gels shaving creams nail polishes nail hardeners and eyelash glues they are vastly used in nail paints nail liquids and baby products Now formaldehyde liberators also known as methanol at room temperature is a colorless flammable gas which processes a pungent smell and is soluble in water and acetone it is categorized by the environmental protection agency as human carcinogen when dissolved in water it is called formalin which is commonly used as an industrial disinfectant preservatives in cosmetics and also a preservative in funeral homes and medical labs you will be surprised to know that we use this chemical in vast number of cosmetic products but it is such a hazardous substance it is a gaseous substance stored at minus 19 degrees celsius and its chemical properties when you will come to know about the chemical properties it is it is one of the causing agent for carcinogens known and a cancer causing substance the toxic concerns are very much high with this product that is why when we think of any product to be incorporated into cosmetics the very first things which comes into the mind is the safety but these ingredients are classified into controversial ingredients since they have been associated with cancerous disease and also causing tumor causing properties see the chemical properties of formaldehyde liberators the odor is such a suffocating and pungent span the they are being incorporated into number of cosmetic product ranging from nail lacquers and nail hardeners they uh, they release formaldehyde continuously as the temperature increases that is why they are known as formaldehyde liberators formaldehyde gas is being liberated continuously even while on storage see the condition it is into the gaseous state formaldehyde liberators are colorless strong smelling gas and used into wide number of industries apart from cosmetics and pharmaceutical industry they are particularly used in shampoos baby soaps nail polish nail glue and hair gels chemicals are used as preservatives as they prevent microbes from growing in water based products which can be absorbed through the skin and have been linked to cancer and allergic skin reactions two problem associated with the formaldehyde liberators are their cancerous property and their they cause dermatitis problem they cause skin inflammation and allergic conditions a study in 2015 determined that longer storage time and higher temperature increases the amount of formaldehyde released from formaldehyde releasing products and could ultimately lead to more severe health concerns what are the substances being associated with and categorized as formaldehyde liberators first is quaternium 15 it is the most sensitizing of these formaldehyde release inhibitors and is found in blush mascara lotion and shampoos dmdm hydantoin it is found in lotion sunscreen and makeup removers imida zolidinyl urea and other categorized polyoxymethylene urea which are found in shampoos conditioner blushes eye shadows and lo lotions imidazolidinyl urea is one of the most anti common antimicrobial agent used in personal care products and is often combined with parabens to provide a broad spectrum preservative system so when they are present into the cosmetic substance they may be one of the cause of liberating formaldehyde Another substances of concern are sodium hydroxymethyl glycinate which is being found in shampoos moisturizers conditioners and lotions animal studies have shown that these substances has the potential for sensitization and dermatitis bromopol which is vastly found in nail polish removers makeovers moisturizers and body wash bromopol is considered safe if it is used in concentration less than 0.1% but cannot be found in formulations with the formaldehyde release products amines 
mixing bromopole and amines produces nitrosamines which have been found to penetrate the skin and can cause cancer since formaldehyde liberators are associated with the carcinogenic property they are categorized into controversial agents glyoxol which is being found in conditioners lotions nail polish and nail treatment and some cir panel has declared the glyoxol as a skin allergen main way of contaminating or exposure to formaldehyde is by inhaling it this substance slowly liberates since they are into the gaseous state is they are being slowly released as the temperature rises formaldehyde in the liquid form can also be absorbed through the skin people get contaminated to small amounts of formaldehyde by eating food or drinking liquids containing formaldehyde the two problems associated with the formaldehyde liberators are cancerous property and they cause irritations it is considered as a human carcinogenic by many experts and government bodies a study also found that formaldehyde initiates and promotes tumor formation it enters into a body through an inhalation of formaldehyde containing formulations leading to cancer now another property of concern is the irritation causing behavior of these liberators formaldehyde in the 2015 by american contact dermatitis society considered as a contact allergen of the year it also results in the occurrence of sensitivity there are several countries which have banned the use of these substances into many cosmetics and toiletry preparations formaldehyde re released from these formaldehyde release products have been linked to cancer but there is a little evidence that these directly cause cancer however a mixture of these substances like bromopole and amines which combines and forms a complex known as nitrosamines has been found to penetrate the skin and can cause so there are certain recommendations that they should not be cosmetics like which have been expired or which have been stored in the sunlight because they uh, as the temperature increases more formaldehyde is released from the product which if someone inhales it is going to be uh, very cancerous or uh, what do you call it is going to be very hazardous and the selection of nail products that are labeled free from formaldehyde or toxic free as discussed earlier there are certain regulations in place whereby these substances have been banned in some certain countries for example it is banned from using cosmetics and toiletries in japan and sweden in the eu eu, EU union restricted in personal care products and labeling is required in products that do not contain these chemicals the eu allows the use of cotinium 15 up to 0.2% as a preservatives in the cosmetic products also there are concentration restrictions in countries like canada so what is the take away one should always read the labels very carefully and avoid the products containing these ingredients the ingredients which are highlighted in red color for example formaldehyde cotinium 15 dimethyl dimethyl hydantoin imidazole linalool urea and other sub and other substances like bromopol should be looked for into the ingredient list into any cosmetics the purpose of highlighting these controversial ingredients is to make consumers aware about the harmful effects of these substances toxicity concerns of these substances and they are being they are being considered as a being carcinogenic product see one applies the cosmetic product for the beauty enhancement and to make the skin more Uh, uh, glowy or skin more beautifying but if we incorporate substances uh, which lies into the category of these controversial ingredient we are in one way or another exposing our body for disease and these they are very hazardous and since they have been linked up to even cancers so one should look after the ingredient list of uh, cosmetic product very carefully and try to avoid these preservatives all the three substances which have been highlighted for uh, for these controversial ingredients for example parabens which i have discussed in my previous video and also 14 dioxin also known as polyethylene glycol they try and this uh, <clears throat> Uh, formaldehyde liberators all of them are preservatives actual purpose is to enhance the stability and shelf life of the product but once when they are considered to be linked up with carcinogenic potential one should avoid these uh, ingredients as far as possible so one can cho choose the nail products that are labeled formaldehyde free or toxic trio free toxic trio because a combination of formaldehyde toluene and dbp is being used into the nail lacquers 
so much for uh, listening to my video please do like share and subscribe and thank you so much